नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ रीजन बाउंडेड बाय इलिट एक्स स्क्वायर डिवाइड बाय 16 प्लस वाई स्क्वायर डिवाइड बाय 9 इज इक्वल टू 1 वी नो दैट दिस इज द इक्वेशन ऑफ इलिट्स एंड इट इज गिवन इन द प्रॉब्लम बट स्टिल वी नीड टू फाइंड सम ऑफ द पॉइंट्स सो वी कैन ड्रॉ एन अप्रोप्रिएट इलिट्स सो आई एम टेकिंग सम ऑफ द पॉइंट्स प्लस x is equal to 0 when x will equal to 0 this will value becomes equal to 0 so we will get y square divided by 9 is equal to 1 so value of y square will 9 and y will plus minus root 9 which is equal to 3 let me show you x is 0 plus y square by 9 is equal to 1 so this whole value becomes 0 so we will get y square upon 9 is equal to 1 so now multiply 9 with 1 we will get y square is equal to 9 and y will equal to y will equal to plus minus root 9 which is y is equal to plus minus root 3 okay so here we get plus minus 3 oh sorry root of 9 is 3 so no need to put root there it is 0 y is 0 there when we plug y is equal to 0, this whole value becomes equal to 0. So, x square will equal to 16. So, x will equal to plus minus 4. Now, draw a graph figure. In this case, one point is when x is equal to 0, y is plus minus 3. When x is equal to 0, y is plus and minus 3. So, this is plus 3 and this is minus 3. When y is 0, y is 0 in x axis, on x axis. So on x axis, x is plus 4 and minus 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. It is plus 4 and here will 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 4. So this will the equation of, this will the graph of ellipse. Like this, 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 yeah, this, this one. So here, this length is 4 and this length is so we need to find whole area. Uh, to find whole area, we can calculate one of the parts. So I'm trying to find this area, this one. Let's take some name A O B, and this is D point. Let's say. So first I will find find the area A O B D. Then I will multiply this area by four to get whole area because figure is symmetric about the origin. Okay, uh, so first find the area, area of A, D, B, O, A, D, B, O will equal to integration of. Now, we can use two methods, either we can take limit 0 to 3, if we take limit 0 to 3, then we will take here D, Y, because these are points lying on the y axis and here will x. Now you can plug the value from the x and solve it. Second method can be you can use the limit 0 to 4. 0 to 4. But 0 to 4 limits are on x axis. So in this case you will write here dx and here will y. So you can use any of one method and will get same answer. So try to find the value of y. Uh, here is the equation is given. So let's solve it. x square divided by 16 plus y square divided by 9 will equal to is equal to 1. We need to find the value of y. So bring this value on another side. So change the sign. y square is equal to 9 will go in multiplication. Yeah, so it will 9 into 1 minus x square upon 16. So that, I am writing here. So that y will equal to root under. I am finding the area of positive region only. So I am taking positive sign only. So y will equal to 3, 1 minus x square upon 16. We can take the LCM. And uh, let me get here. So it will equal to 3, uh, sorry there is 9, 9 is root of 3, 
take the LCM, we will get 16 minus x square upon 16. Okay, uh, take the 16 as LCM and uh, subtract the fraction and uh, 9 is the square of 3, so I have write it now 3 here. Now I'm plugging the value, we will get integration of 0 to 4, this 4, this 3 will here, 4 is the square of, uh, sorry, uh, 4, 16 is the square of 4, so we can bring this 16 outside the bracket, outside the root sign and we'll convert into 16. It will 16, 16 minus x square dx. Now we can integrate it. To integrate it, we need to have the formula which can be used here. So what is the formula? Formula of this equation will let, uh, let it write it here. The formula will 0, uh, I am writing the formula of integration only. The formula of integration of a square minus x square dx is x upon 2 root a square minus x square plus along there is a plus a square divided by 2 sine inverse x upon a. So this is the formula of integration. We can use it. Now use this formula we will get 3 by 4 x is x divided by 2 under root what is the value of a square? a square is equal to 16. You can see a square is equal to 16. So we will get 16 minus x square plus a square upon 2. a square is equal to 16. So it will be 16 upon 2 sine inverse x. x is x by a. Here a square is equal to 16. So that uh, if I uh, am uh, writing here a square is 16. So that a will root 16 which is equal to 4. I am taking only positive value and upper limit is 4, lower limit is 0. Now try to calculate it further, plug the limits, 3 by 4, plug upper limit, 4. Uh, square of 4 will 16, 16 minus 16 will 0. When 0 multiply with 4 by 2, we will get 0. So this whole value becomes to 0 and here plus 8, 16 divided by 2 is 8 sin inverse 4 upon 4. 4 upon 4 will equal to 1. This is the upper value of upper limit. Minus. Now plug lower limit. Plug 0. When we plug here 0, it will become 0 upon 2. When 0 is multiplied with any number, it gives 0. So it will 0 plus 8. 16 by 2 is 8. Sin inverse 0 upon 4. So we will get 3 by 4, 0 plus 8. What is the value of sine inverse 1? Sine pi by 2 is equal to 1. So we can write it 1 is equal to sine pi by 2. Sine will cancel out. So we will get sine inverse 1 is equal to pi by 2 minus 0 plus 8. Sine inverse 0 upon 4. 0 is the value. 0 upon 4 is? 0 and 0 is the value of sin 0. So sin inverse and sin will cancel out and we will get 0. So here we will get 0. So after calculating we will get 3 by 4, 2 4 the 8 into 4 pi. 4 will cancel out and we get 3 pi. 3 pi unit square. But we need to find whole areas. You can see there is four equal parts, one, two, three, four. We have calculated the area of this part. So the area of whole part will four times that of this part. So total area of ellipse, will four into three pi is equal to 12 pi unit square. So this is the answer of the question.